Welcome to Baseball News Club Special Edition. Today we are going to be talking about playoffs. Major League Baseball playoffs are here. I know it's a short season, but it's been a short, long season, and we are here starting Tuesday. We are going to see some playoffs. Now, today we're going to talk about the wildcard matchups. As the playoffs move along, we'll talk about the division matchups, league championship, and world series, but today only we're talking wildcard. Now, keep in mind, the wild card is only three games. That's going to be huge. I've been talking all season long about how there's going to be a lot of upsets. The playoffs are going to be different. And then the division is five games, league championship, and World Series seven games. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's start with the American League matchups. First matchup in the wild card we're going to talk about is Toronto Blue Jays and Tampa Bay Rays. Both teams have offense, but we all know Tampa's got the crazy pitching in a three game series I think it's going to be tough for anybody to beat them in three games no less five games and maybe seven but you got Morton Snell and Glass now I don't think many people want to face Glass now the guy's just a beast Toronto has a young lineup and they're going up against a really strong pitching staff and pitching wins in the playoffs so I'm going to have to side with Tampa on this one uh, Toronto's not a good fastball hitting team and in Tampa Bay they're they throw fastballs they're a good team so First selection will be Tampa Bay moving on to the division series. Next wild card matchup is New York Yankees versus Cleveland Indians. And honestly, I was scratching my head the longest time on this one. I could see the series going either or. I could see Cleveland winning or the Yankees. And here's why. Cleveland has phenomenal pitching. Yankees have phenomenal hitting. But pitching wins in playoffs. So, you know, again, on this one, I flipped a coin. I'm seriously flipped a coin on this one. I couldn't figure it out because here's the key. If Garrett Cole doesn't win his starts, New York's in trouble. Um, Cleveland has to put up runs. So this can be a low-scoring affair or the Yankees can, you know, totally light it up on Cleveland's pitching. I Again, I had to flip a coin on this one. I'm going with the Yankees on this, but I wouldn't be surprised if Cleveland upsets the Yankees. Next wild card matchup is the Houston Astros versus the Minnesota Twins. I went the Twins right away on this one. For one, Houston has just been idling the last 30 days or more. They haven't really shown that they're a great team or a horrible team. They're just kind of like the subpar club. They barely made it into playoffs. I mean, it was almost like they were giving away their playoff berth. But um, Minnesota loves hitting righties. And they have hitters and they have pitching. So they have both this year. They don't just have hitting. They are a well-rounded team. And I just don't think Houston deserves to be in there. And I'm not even talking about the scandal. Just Houston, I just don't see them matching up. If you look at all their players across the board, they didn't have a good season. So going with Minnesota on this one. Now the next matchup, this was just like the Yankees-Indians matchup. It was a head-scratcher for me. The Chicago White Sox against the Oakland Athletics. This is almost like an ALCS. Seriously, these two teams have been phenomenal this year. Oakland's been just incredible all season long. We remember all the Grand Slams. They're a phenomenal club. Great pitching. And the Chicago White Sox, you know, the thing about Chicago is they just have this special something. Out of all the teams that are in the playoffs this year, Chicago stands out. They just seem to have the, the it factor. And this is a three-game series. So A's bullpen the key to this series is the White Sox have to get to the starters early because they don't want to face this A's bullpen. They're a phenomenal bullpen. The White Sox love to grip and rip it. Their chase and contact rate is really low. And if you go up against a really strong pitching staff, especially a bullpen that's strong as Oakland, they could be in trouble. So honestly, I did a coin flip on this one too. I could see Chicago doing it, but I'm going to go with the Oakland Athletics. They're going to win this three game series. All right, let's move on over to the National League wildcard matchups. And the first matchups we're going to talk about is the Milwaukee Brewers playing the Los Angeles Dodgers. This one, I, you know, I think for the most part, this is no-brainer. The Dodgers just across the board, offensively pitching, they're just a juggernaut. They're just phenomenal. And Brewers, you need a little help to get in the playoffs. You, you struggle down the stretch. I just don't think you have the pitching depth. I don't think you have the offense. And LA is just... Dude, they played at a 717 winning percentage. Just phenomenal. And they've just been walking over everybody. So I'm sorry, Brewers. You're you're done in probably two games uh, in this three-game set. Dodgers are going to move along. All right, next wildcard matchup. And I think a lot of people are looking forward to this one. St. Louis Cardinals against the San Diego Padres and the Friars. This one did get my head scratching for a little bit. And I'll tell you why. And this is why it makes me nervous if I'm a Padre fan. The freaking Cardinals organization, if you know the history of baseball, they just find a way to win. They could just have a team on paper that you look at and you're like, oh, okay, they're average. 
but this is an organization, one of the most successful organizations in baseball history. I just a little bit worried for the Padres here, but one thing for the Padres, the question mark is Clevenger and Lamette. Are they going to be pitching? Are they going to be ready and healthy? But what the it factor is in this series is since St. Louis struggles offensively, they have to score runs early because the Padres' bullpen set September 1st leads all Major League Baseball in war. So they are a powerful bullpen. They had a good bullpen coming in the season. They had question marks, but I think the Padres are going to win the series. And honestly, they might just pull it off in two games. But again, St. Louis, question mark. They could be a troubled team. They could be the spoilers. But I'm picking the Padres. Next wild card matchup will be the Fish versus the Cubs. Now, what's interesting about the Marlins, they were the surprise team this year in the National League. They took a lot of players to put it together to get to the playoffs. And, you know, down the stretch, they didn't really show that they're a hot team or they're a team ready for the playoffs. And then you look at the Cubs, and they've been solid all season. The question mark for the Fish is their pitching. It's a huge concern. they got a lot of young arms. But sometimes young arms can surprise, you know, teams. So we'll have to wait and see. But the Cubs... They've got a core team that's been together for years. Uh, they still got a bunch of leftover guys from the World Series win, so they're kind of veterans in a way of the playoffs. And they've got Darvish and Hendricks, and the Marlins have no power. So I'm going to go with the Cubs on this one. I'm going to pick three games. I have a feeling the Marlins are going to squeak one out, but Cubbies are going to win this one and move along. And finally, our last wild card matchup we're going to discuss is the Cincinnati Reds and the Atlanta Braves. Now here's the theme. If the philosophy in Major League Baseball is true to form, which it usually is, that pitching wins World Series and wins in playoffs, then you have to go with Cincinnati on this one. They have fantastic pitching. They have that rotation that you want in a three- or five-game series that gives teams a tough time. But their hitting's horrible, but they've actually been hitting lately. And if Joe Votto and you know, some of the other players on the team start smacking the ball around, this can be trouble for the Atlanta Braves. Atlanta Braves can hit. They've got a huge offense. They're second to the Dodgers by like a run for the most runs scored in the National League. They're a powerful offensive team, but this is offense versus pitching. And if Cincinnati can put some runs on the board, I'm picking them as the upset team. This is what I've been telling you guys. There's going to be some upsets. It's going to be a different type of playoff experience for us this year. And I think Cincinnati is going to be that upset team. So I'm picking them over the Atlanta Braves. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Please comment and let us know what you think of our selections or tell us who you think are going to win. And again, thank you very much for supporting our channel. Have a great day.